Hi guys, what's going on? Patrick here and welcome to this video. I hope you had a wonderful weekend like I did. Mine was very good, so I hope yours was good as well. And what better way to kick off the new week with a new episode of Supplements 101. And today we're going to talk a bit about creatine. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So guys, talking about of one of the most used supplements out there, we have to ask ourselves first, what is creatine even? And creatine by itself is a nitrogenous organic acid formed out of three amino acids. And creatine works as a fuel for ATP. And ATP means adenosine triphosphate. And ATP works as an energy system over a short period of time, or better said, for a short period of time. So as you guys can probably see, creatine and ATP provides energy for short-term movements. So creatine is actually quite essential for everyone who is doing sports, specifically for professional athletes or people who are lifting weights. And it doesn't matter if he or she is a powerlifter or a bodybuilder, because both of those people who are doing sports perform their movements over a short period of time, time and time again. So now you might ask yourself, can the body produce creatine by itself? And the answer to that is, yes, the body can do that. And every day the body th synthesizes about two grams of creatine in its liver, the pancreas and the kidneys, supplies those two grams of creatine in form of ATP all over the body to our body cells, specifically our muscle cells. But unfortunately, those two grams in form of ATP aren't enough for certain sports. So guys, today I brought you two of the most well-known supplement brands out there and we're starting off with the creatine product from Optimum Nutrition right here. And second, we got the creatine product from Profil Supplements right there. And Profil Supplements pride itself by providing vegan supplements and Optimum Nutrition is probably the most well-known supplement brand that is out there. And both of those products are a little bit pricier. I'm putting the link down below in the description box if you wanna check them out. But, and that is important, both of those products are a Crea Pure product. And what Crea Pure means it's the highest quality out there, it's the best quality out there, it's the best absorbed product out there. And Crea Pure is basically the best creatine product that is out there. In addition to that, there are other creatine products like a Cre Alkaline or a Creatine Matrix. And both of those aren't bad, but both of those aren't good either, and they can't compete against the Crea Pure. So if you wanna choose a creatine product for yourself, always go for the Crea Pure. Moving on, we're getting to the most important question regarding creatine supplementation. And that is, is creatine supplementation necessary? And to answer that right away, no it is not. And the reason for it is, if you don't wanna get serious in certain sports, especially, if you, especially weightlifting or bodybuilding, you don't need to supplement with creatine. You just don't need to. But if you wanna get serious in certain sports, especially weightlifting and bodybuilding, creatine does offer a lot of advantages and it does have a lot of benefits. So that's probably the most important reason why I recommend it to people who wanna get into those sports. So guys, moving on to the advantages. Since creatine provides our body with ATP, like we mentioned before, we are basically able to perform better and longer, or let's say lift longer and lift more weight, since our body has more energy to use. In addition to that, a creatine supplementation enhances our recovery by reducing cell damage and inflammation. And to be completely honest with you, there are a few more advantages out there, but to put all of those into one video would be way too much, so I'm putting a link to the studies and the articles I used for this video and also for my own research in the description box down below if you want to check them out. So guys, moving on to the recommended usage of creatine. And there are quite a few different opinions out there on the so-called right consumption of creatine. So I've picked out the two most propagated ones to discuss a little bit more. Starting off with the loading phase of creatine, in which you're going to consume 20 grams of creatine per day for five to seven days. And to be completely honest with you, this is nonsense and not proven. But what is proven is the fact that the body is only able to absorb up to five grams of creatine per day. So guys, do yourself a favor, consume only five grams of creatine per day and save yourself the product. Moving on to the second myth, and that is regarding the consumption of creatine alongside grape juice or any other kind of fruit juice. And the reason for it is, this way the body is able to absorb creatine faster into our blood. And yes, that is true. But to be honest, the body doesn't need to absorb creatine that fast. And the reason for it is, the body is going to store creatine anyway into our body cells. So he doesn't care if that's going to happen fast or slow. 
So guys, do yourself a favor, take only five grams of creatine per day and do that however and whenever you want. It doesn't matter if it's nighttime or in the morning or with grape juice or any other kind of fruit juice. Do it however and whenever you want. So guys, to wrap up this video, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on creatine, my recommendation and what I like to do. I started supplementing creatine a year ago, five grams per day each day. And since that, I added almost 50 pounds to all of my compound movements. So as you guys can see, I got stronger since I had more energy to lift that weight. Which leads us to my opinion on creatine. Since creatine as itself doesn't have any side effects, except for the one if you're taking too much, you're going to get digestive problems, creatine is probably the only supplement that is really going to work. And it doesn't matter if it's a whey protein or a multivitamin or a fish oil supplement, creatine is probably the only one that's not going to disappoint you. And that has a reason, in my opinion. And this reason is creatine is produced by the body itself, so it has to be essential. And like we discovered before, creatine is essential to provide ATP. And since ATP is needed to perform well and to use and provide energy, creatine is going to work out. And that leads us to my recommendation. Do I recommend creatine? Yes, I do. But like I said before, I'm not recommending it to everyone. But if you wanna get stronger, if you wanna add more size, and if you wanna get serious in the gym, I do recommend using creatine. But if you're just a regular guy, doesn't caring about how fast you're going to get stronger, how fast you're going to gain size, or if you just don't wanna take a supplement, which is completely fine, it's going to work out as well. It's just going to take a little bit longer. So to sum it up, do I recommend creatine? Yes, I do, but not to everyone. And it's not essential to supplement creatine. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.